Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Alright, in this video I'm going to be doing a full beat drugstore glam tutorial for you guys. So, if you guys want to see how to achieve this look all from the drugstore, please continue on watching into this video. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be priming my face with the NYX Pore Filler. I really think this is a nice cheap primer. It has a dimethicone in it and silica. So it really helps to just fill in those pores and make your skin look a little more smooth. With pore fillers, I prefer kind of just pressing them in so that it actually does fill the pores instead of just swirling it around the face. So now that once we have that pressed into the skin, we're just gonna go ahead and let it set for a second. So the next product is going to be the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, and this is in the shade N3. So this is more of my summer shade when I'm getting more tan during the summertime. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that on the back of my hand real quick. I'm just gonna do a couple pumps, and I'm just gonna be taking my brush from Pure and just swirling that on to the face. And I like doing nice stippling motions too, so that it gives a more airbrushed look to the foundation. And then we're just gonna apply it down the neck as well, just because for some reason when I was out in the backyard tanning, it didn't tan evenly. Like I have like three different skin tones right now. My face is darker than my neck and my arms are darker than anything else. So it's just like, come on. Okay, so now that we have the foundation all settled in, we're going to go ahead and move on to concealer. And for concealer, I'm just going to be using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Highlighter. And this is in the shade Fair. And I'm just going to put this in the T-zone and under the eyes. Now, I actually heard about this product because Jaclyn Hill was raving about it being one of a, a pretty good like drugstore highlighter. So I decided to try it out for myself and I really do enjoy it. It gives a nice luminosity and everything to the look. And I'm just going to put it on my eyelids as well just to set them for the eyeshadow. And I'm just going to be taking this brush from BH Cosmetics, it's the number 4 brush, and I'm just going to buff this in. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Cover FX real quick. I know it's not drugstore. This is the only thing that I have for translucent powder at the moment. I'm just gonna go ahead and set everything real quick and then we'll get into the next step. Now for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Milani Bronzer XL. This is in the shade Bronze Glow. And I'm going to be taking my large friend brush from Crown Brush. And I'm just going to swirl the two shades around and contour my face. I really do love this bronzer a lot. I think it's an amazing bronzer from a drugstore. Oh, it's just uh, gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just contour the nose real quick. I'm gonna be taking my E15 Flat Small Contour Brush, is what I call it. I don't know if that's the actual name, but it's just like a nice, small, detailed brush. And I'm just gonna dip into the darker shade from the bronzer. We're just gonna contour my nose real quick. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna dip into is a blush. So I'm gonna be using the Milani Powder Blush in the shade T Rose, and I really do enjoy this shade a lot. And I'm gonna be taking my MAC 129, and this is technically a foundation brush, but I love using it for a blush. And then the next thing is going to be highlighter. I am going to be using the Makeup Revolution Vivid Highlighter Powder, and this is in the shade Peach Lights. And this is what it looks like. It's a baked highlighter. When it comes to this brand specifically, I'm not 
all for this brand, but I am just going to be using it for this tutorial because it, it's cheap enough to be considered drugstore makeup. And I'm just going to be taking my highlighter brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm just going to be swirling into that. Now the whole reason why I don't preferably like this brand so much to say is just because they are a company that likes to dupe products. That is what they are known for. Kat Von D had recently, maybe a month or two ago, put out a video that she was upset with this company because they duped some of her eyeshadow palettes and they never got consent or anything supposedly. So I'm just curious if they've gotten consent from any other brands. So what they do is they dupe the product, but not only dupe the product, they also dupe the packaging and everything. So it's very similar to whatever product they are duping. Like for instance, if you do look at Kylie Cosmetics like lip kits, you'll see that it is a very similar in packaging and presentation and everything. So if I were to be a company that was duping products, I would want to dupe it in my own way that it was still original. So that's why I'm not the biggest fan and I'm not planning on purchasing any more products from Makeup Revolution. But I did purchase this highlighter before finding out that bit of information. But I really do love this highlighter. Like that's really gorgeous, you guys. So if you guys aren't into all that drama or just copying a brand's like whole like reputation and everything, I mean, you can go for it and purchase it. But me, I'm not going to support a company that does that kind of stuff. But this highlighter is gorgeous. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next product and for the next product I am going to be doing my eyebrows so I'm gonna do that quickly off camera just because I already do have a brow tutorial if you guys want to check it out and see how I personally do my eyebrows go ahead and check out that tutorial I'll leave a link to it down below for you guys but for drugstore wise instead of using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade I'm gonna be using the NYX Tame and Frame Palm Made and I'm also gonna be using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil to outline and everything and they're both in the shade Brunette so just give me one second and I'll be right back for you guys. All right, so I just finished doing my eyebrows off camera and to say this is the first time I actually tried using the Tame and Frame and I'm a little bit disappointed because, not because my eyebrows are a little bit darker than normal right now, but because it comes out patchy. I was really expecting a lot more from it, but using this one versus my Anastasia, my Anastasia doesn't come out patchy. So I was a little bit disappointed with this, but I went ahead and made it work for the sake of the video. And for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the NYX Love in Paris palette. And we're just going to be going for like a neutral smoky look. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my Anastasia double ended brush and I'm gonna go ahead and lay down a base right now so I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this white and just set my eyes real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this medium brown right here and we're just gonna go ahead and focus this on the outer corners at the moment and lay that in the outer crease. And just slowly bring that in once there's less product on the brush and then I'm just gonna lightly take this shade towards the center and then I'm just going to dip into these two shades and focus these on the outer corners specifically. And we're just going to darken that up. And then I'm just going to dip into the black shade with a more precise blending brush. And I'm going to focus this just on the very outer corners to deepen it up a little bit. So I'm just going to go into the V. And then I'm just going to dip back into the brown and then I'm going to focus this on the center and blend that in. And then I'm just going to go into this champagne color up here and we're going to put this on the inner lid. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take this flattened inside of my Anastasia brush and I'm just going to dip into the brown and we're going to go ahead and do the lower lash line. So I'm just going to go ahead and go underneath the outer corner and drag it towards the center. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that black again and focus this on the very outer corner. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my false lashes and do my eyeliner off camera. So I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so I went ahead and did my liner and lashes off camera. And I used the Maybelline Eye Studio in the Blackest Black Gel Liner to line my eyes. And then I put on some Ardell Wispies. Now we're just going to go ahead and apply some lipstick. So I think I'm filling this Violet Ray shade from NYX. So we're just going to go ahead and apply it real quick. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. 
right, so I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit real quick off camera, and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm literally obsessed with this look right now. This lipstick is just so gorgeous. It's like, it's not like a matte shade. It's kind of like, it's like a luxurious shade, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my face real quick, and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. I'm just going to go ahead and spray the face. Yes, I freaking love how this turned out. It's so gorgeous. So if you guys like this glamified, glamified, glamified drugstore tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because I do post new videos every Sunday and Wednesday for you guys. I don't want you guys to miss out on any of future videos that I'll be posting. So please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. You guys have an amazing day. Peace out. This is the bag for the month of May. It is clear with ice cream all over the bag. I really love it. It's perfect for summer and I'm obsessed with it.